Oh well done, John. Why are you so sad? I didn't want our trip to India to end. Oh, don't worry about that. We're going somewhere new this week. Really? Oh, where are we going? Tell me. Well, let's have a look, shall we? Wow! Hello, and welcome to Explore. I'm John. And I'm Ben. Now, I hope you enjoyed exploring India last week. What are you doing, John? I'm trying to find out where we're going this week, Ben. Well, why don't I give you some clues? OK. Right, so it's a very new country, but it's got an awful lot of history. So it's old and new? Yeah, that's right, John. But we'll find out more about that later on. Now, you do know it's surrounded by three seas, and it has a capital city, which is called Jerusalem. And that's sometimes known as the Holy Land. Oh, wow. But... I still don't know where we're going. Oh dear, John. But the important thing is, do you know where we're going, explorers? Let's find out. Oh, I'm excited. I can't wait for this. Israel! Yes, John. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You know what that means? What? It means it's time to introduce our very special guest presenter. Now, she was born and grew up in Israel, and today she's here to tell us all about it. Hi, Maya. Hi, Ben. Thanks for coming in. You're very welcome. I'm so excited to be here. So, tell us a little bit about Israel. Well, it's in the Middle East and it was only formed in 1948, but even so, it still has a lot of history. And Jerusalem in particular is a sacred place for many religions. Oh, wow. So this temple here behind us, is that in Jerusalem? That's right. That is a Temple Mount. And it's important to Christianity, Islam and Judaism, which is the main religion in Israel. Fantastic. So what was it like growing up as a child in Israel? Well, it was very different. I grew up in Tel Aviv, which is the second largest city in Israel. And many people think that is the capital, but it's not. Jerusalem is. Israel is a very small country with only six million people. And it has a very warm culture, tasty food, and the weather is hot all year round. So it's a perfect place to go if you want to get a suntan. That is correct. Did you hear that, explorers? It seems really interesting. Now, I've also heard that Israel is surrounded by three seas. Is that correct? That's right, Ben. Well, if we have a look here, is, is the map of Israel, and on the side we have the Mediterranean Sea. Down south is the Red Sea, and right here is the Dead Sea. Now, the Dead Sea is very strange, though, as it's full of salt, and you can float on it, sitting up, and even read a newspaper without getting it wet. Fantastic. Oh, you hear that, explorers? You can sit on the sea, read a newspaper, and not get it wet. I want to go. I found one of Maya's books, but I just don't understand it. What's wrong, John? I can't understand your books, Maya. Well, that's because it's in Hebrew, John, the language we speak oh, in Israel. Okay. So the alphabet is different, and we read from right to left. Like those letters here, there, Hebrew. Well, I'd like to know some. Could you teach me? I would love to. What would you like to know? Uh, how about hello? That's really easy. It's Shalom. Shalom? Try again. Shalom. Shalom? See if you can do it at home. Shalom. Shalom? That's correct, John. Well done. What else would you like to know? How about my name is John? That's really simple. Korim Li, and then you say your name. Korum Lai John? No. Try again. Korim Li Maya. Karim Lee John. Help him out, explorers. Karim Lee. Karim Lee John. Exactly. Fantastic. Oh, wow. How are you getting on, guys? Very Shalom, good. Ben. Shalom, Ben. Shalom, John. That means hello, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, fantastic. Karim Lee Maya. Karim Lee John. That's your name is John, your name is Maya. Yeah. So, right. Karim Lee Ben. Fantastic. So now, there's one thing we haven't explored yet, and that's the food. And I really love food, oh, so let's go and look at some Israeli food. Let's go. go on, stay here and learn some more words. Okay. So here we are. We've got some fantastic Israeli delicacies before that's us, Maya, right. but what are they? Well, on the table we have some chickpeas, some pita bread, hummus and falafel. Now, all of these yeah. are traditional Israeli dishes. And they're very popular in Israel. Um, so, as you can see, they all look very tasty. Okay, so where do chickpeas actually come from? 
chickpeas are the one of the earliest cultivated vegetables and um, they grow in parts of Northern America and uh, South Africa. Oh, fantastic. So there yeah. you go, explorers. They don't just come from a supermarket. They do grow in Israel and Africa. So what's this one here? That is falafel. And okay. that is a vegetarian dish. It is made out of spices and vegetables all mashed together and shaped up into balls like that. Fantastic. So I'll... And this I one want here. to just mention that hummus is made from chickpeas. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. So they don't just come like that. They come like that as well. Exactly. Now, so, you can dip the pita bread mm -hmm. in the hummus. And while we're here, is this falafel easy to make? Mmm. This is so tasty. Very mm, easy right to make. I mean, you can make it on your own at mm -hmm. home. Just be careful with the oven and the way you Get your parents to help you out and you should be fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, this looks delicious. Hi, John. Do you want Hi, some John. food? Uh, some food? No, thank you, because I want to get creative. Oh, Sounds yes. good to me. Oh, wait, let's go. So what are we making today, Maya? So, John, today we're going to be making some hamster hands, as oh, you can wow. see. What are they? Well, they're a palm-shaped symbol, okay. and they're used for decorative elements. You can put them on the wall, around the house, and they bring you good luck. Oh, okay, so how, sh how should we go about making them? Now, what you need to have is some card. You cut it out into the template that you can you get online. On the website. Exactly. And once you cut it out, you can pop some white paint on it, yeah. let it all dry. Once it's dried out, I've painted mine blue and I've put some glitter around. And why don't we start decorating Okay, it? so what should I start decorating? So you can make the eye okay. and all the decoration material is why in is, here. Why is the eye important though? Well, it's very important, John, because it needs to be placed in the center. Okay. And the eye actually brings you good luck. So without the eye, it wouldn't okay. have any meaning. Well, I've stuck on the eye with some blue tack, but you can use glue or anything else sticky to use. Yeah, I'm going to draw the fish. Okay, and what do the right fish represent? Here. Now, the fish represent three wishes that you that will come true. Now you can draw it in any way you want. I'm just going to do mine quite quickly. And we can even start painting the fish. Oh, okay. I'd love three wishes. That'd be great. Why don't you finish that eye? Yeah. Right here. Okay. You can with put the that in the top. middle. Exactly. And I'll paint the fish. Okay. Start painting the fish. Yeah. Yeah. If you want any of the templates or anything, you can go to www.explore.tv to find them. Oh yeah. wow, these fish are coming on quite nice. I know, yeah. Very colourful. Why we have some more beads in here, so you know you can decorate it in any way you want. You can use beads. Yeah. Or glitter or anything you like. Exactly. Now if you want to get really creative, you can use the these glitter cards. And I've got one more thing for you. Look at the one that I made earlier. Wow, that looks wow. really good. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, if you so want to get really you like creative, mine? you That's can That's good as well, John. Why don't you put them on the wall with the other hamster hands? Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Fantastic. And while you're doing that, remember, if you missed any of the steps in this make or want a template, just visit our website, which is on the screen now, www.explore.tv. And while you're there, why not upload a picture of your own hamster hand and enter this week's competition? Oh, Ben, who won last week's competition? Was it me? Well, John, um, I'm, I'm afraid not. Oh. The winner was this fantastic lamp sent in by Simone from Nottingham, age nine. Oh, well done, Simone. Yeah, well done to you, Simone. You win and yeah. explore goodie bags. Yes, you do. Exciting indeed. explore prizes. Wow. And I tell you what, that's a fantastic prize because we don't even have one of those oh, ourselves. No, we don't. We don't. But you know what? What? That means we're nearly out of time. Oh, already? Oh, yeah, afraid so, John. Have we got time for one more thing, Ben? Well, we could do one more Israeli themed activity. Oh, yeah. How about a traditional song or dance? I've just got the right thing for you. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Cool. This sounds fun. Right. Hold hands. Yep. And music. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, three, four, three, five, six, jump and round and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, three, four, three, five, six, and jump. Hey! Oh, but that really is all we've got time for. Thank you very much, Maya, for coming in and helping us explore Israel today. Oh, you're very welcome, Ben. It was so fun to be here with you guys. And don't forget, if you missed the make, want to upload your entry to our competition or find out even more about Israel, just visit our website at www.explore.tv. Brilliant. We'll see you next time when we'll be exploring another fantastic country. Bye. Bye. Hey, guys. It's Leitreot. You like you it? You like Goodbye, John. Yeah. Leitreot.